everyone, I'm Lisa Gander. I'm an occupational therapist and a personal trainer, and I'm here to talk you through how to properly set up your workstation at home. At the end of this video, I will also show you some of my favorite stretches for people who have to sit behind a desk all day. Let's get started. So this is my husband's desk. I'm using this as a reference. It is not set up for me, just using it as a reference. So when you sit down, the first thing you should do is make sure your elbows are at 90 degrees to the keyboard, okay? They shouldn't be out in front of you like this. You shouldn't be reaching up like this or reaching down. Locked at 90 degrees. So when your elbows are locked at 90 degrees, now let's look at where your feet are at. You wanna make sure that your feet are planted firmly against the floor. My feet are kind of dangling here because I'm kind of short. So if I were working at this desk here, I would want something to prop under my feet. This is where you get a footstool, reams of paper, those college books that you haven't used since college, put them to use. Put them under your feet so your feet are flat. The other thing we want to talk about is your armrests. The armrests are here to rest your arms in between typing. Go ahead in between typing, put them, put rest your elbows on the armrest, go back to typing here. If you keep your elbows resting here while you're typing, you're going to overuse these muscles in your forearms and you can also irritate a nerve that's in your elbow as well. The back of your chair should be flushed against your back too. There is a wide gap in between my back and the chair here, so this would not work for me. This is where a nice ergonomic pillow would come into play. They're about $30 on Amazon. If you're lucky enough to have some of those chairs that move forward and backwards, get that back flushed right up against your back so you don't go into this pattern like this. The next thing when you're looking at a keyboard is you want to be able to be able to comfortably rest your hand while typing here. There are wrist rests here, same thing with the arm rest. They are here to rest in between typing. I'd rather have you bring your arms to your body, but if you need to rest for a quick second, you can rest your hand on them like this. The wrist rests are not to firmly dig your palm into the entire time while you're typing. And if you are, that's where they should be, is at your palm, not on your forearm, but gently on your palm. Let's talk about your mouse. Your mouse should be within an arm's reach here. If you should be able to extend anywhere between 90 degrees to 110 degrees. I don't want you reaching far away or up to the side. It should be comfortably within reach here. I don't want you resting your elbow to mouse the entire time. I also don't want you to rely solely on your shoulder to move your mouse. You can kind of plant your hand and gently move your hand around to get where you need to. There are rests for your hands when you are mousing. I also think that's a little overkill because it tends to put you in an awkward position when you're mousing like this. So let's talk about your screen. Your screen should be in front of you about an arm's length away from you. Your eyes should also be gazing anywhere between the top of the screen to the middle of the screen. When that screen comes lower, your body tends to lean forward like this. And that sets off a chain reaction, bad back pain, neck pain, shoulder pain. We don't want that. So keep that screen right in front of you. Another issue these days is because we're staring at a screen all day, there's a new issue of computer digital eye strain. So what I want you to do is adjust the setting and the, get the brightness down low on your computer. The other thing too is be mindful if you have an open window behind you or a light behind you, that can be causing a glare and added strain on your eyes from your screen. How to solve this problem? is every 20 minutes, look away, about 20 feet away for 20 seconds. Think of it as 20, 20, 20. Every 20 minutes, look 20 feet away for 20 seconds. If you're one of those that primarily works off of a notebook, there's a couple things that you could do. If you can, try to get some sort of stand to raise up the notebook and see about getting some sort of external keyboard that you can use. You want that screen right in front of you and then you can have good posture down here. If you don't have an external keyboard and you're just working with your notebook, I would suggest every 30 minutes or so, trying to change where you're working. If you're at the kitchen counter, move to a kitchen table, move to the dining room table. Just that change in your positioning will help. Never do any work from your couch or your bed. So let's go over a few stretches. The first one I'm gonna share with you is called a chin tuck. We take our chin, put your finger on your chin, and kind of tuck it back in, and you're kind of creating a double chin. Hold for five seconds, and then relax. This should be done about 10 times. 
The next stretch is an upper trapezius stretch. It's this area where a lot of people hold tension. So rest your arm, tilt your neck to one side like this. Some of you might be feeling a stretch here. And if this is all you can do, hold it here for 10 to 15 seconds or so. If you don't feel much of a stretch, take a hand and pull a little bit further. If you still could use a greater stretch, tuck your hand either behind your back or hold the bottom of your chair and kind of lean over to the side. And hold this for about 15 seconds or so. The next stretch I'm going to show you is a chest stretch that you can do from your chair. Take your hands behind you, clasp them, and pull your shoulder blades back and think of sticking your chest out and opening up the chest here. Hold this for about 15 seconds. Let's stretch your forearms. Take your palm up, try and tilt your fingers down, and stretch this way. Pull down, not until when you're feeling pain, but when you feel a stretch, and hold for about 15 seconds. Then flip your palm down and to tilt your fingers to the floor and pull down this way and hold for about 15 seconds or so. I'm gonna show you a hamstring stretch using your chair. I anchored my chair against my desk so it doesn't roll away. So keep that in mind if you have a chair that rolls. Put your foot on the chair, put your toes straight up in the air. Be mindful to keep your pelvis forward, kind of stick your butt out and lean forward if you can take your hand and reach to the outside of the knee, maybe the calf, maybe you can reach down to the toes. Hold for about 15 seconds or so. The next stretch is one of my favorite stretches. It's a doorway pectoralis stretch. So find a door frame that you can get your hands up onto. Keep this part of your arm about parallel with the ground. And what you're gonna do is take one foot, step it forward, and lean forward with your chest, not your belly or hips and your eyes should gaze about eight feet on the floor in front of you. Your hands should be nice and relaxed. You should feel a good stretch through the front of your shoulder here. Hold it for about 15 seconds or so. Since there are two muscles in this area, we wanna be able to get both sets. We're gonna get the pec minor. So put your hands up into a V position up at the top of the door frame and do that same movement pattern. One foot forward, lean in, hands are nice and relaxed, is about eight feet in front of you on the floor and hold for about 15 seconds. So I hope you learned something today. The takeaway is make sure you're getting up and moving any chance you can get. If you have to take a phone call, don't sit at your desk. Stand up and pace around the room. Make sure you're taking a proper lunch break, getting up and away from your desk. Maybe take a walk if you can. Also try to find some time to do some stretches throughout the day. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a fantastic day.